Well, hello friends, it's Donna. We are, welcome back to my channel. First of all, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit the thumbs up and hit the bell notification. So you know when I go live, I do live auctions almost every day on my channel or on my auction partner's channel, T Auctions For You. She's linked down below. Okay, we are on our way to a community called Ibis and I was contacted by this Palm Beach. Yes, we live in the beautiful Palm Beaches of Florida. She is an organizer and she helps people liquidate estates and she called me and she has some items from a woman who is looking to uh, sell her house and liquidate her items. Stand by and I'll tell you all about it. Welcome back to my channel. I am an estate buyer catering to resellers and collectors. My name is Donatella Badalino. My friends call me Donna. I was born on the beautiful island of Sicily, raised in Boston, and now I live in the beautiful Palm Beaches of Florida, where some of the wealthiest people in the world live. I buy entire states and truckloads of items for you. So we just bought everything so Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. Doll can go home. Are you happy? We're very happy. Okay, thank you so much. Thank so this you. stuff is all great. We're gonna load it up and take it back to let's the go back cottage. to the reseller cottage, pull up a chair, and let's see what I've got for you next coming from the beautiful Palm Beaches. Oh my gosh, I found me at the fair. <laughs> Look at it, it's me, I love it. She's beautiful. <laughs> Please awesome. be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and we will see you live. We're off for a quick drive, not far from the reseller cottage. We are gonna be going to Ibis, like I told you earlier. And I'm really excited to go meet this woman. I got a little bit of a backstory on her and it just seems really incredible to be able to have the opportunity to buy some of her items. So Ibis is a very exclusive community and I love the opportunity of coming in here. It's a gated community surrounded by walls. It actually also has armed guards at the gate, very high security to be able to come in here. You have to show your driver's license and they take pictures of your license plate to keep the elite residents safe. Driving through the community, take note of the incredible landscape. That's one thing that I love about South Florida is the everlasting flowers and palm trees and green grass. I was always in the florist industry and worked with plants and just absolutely loved the idea of living here and it is just forever green. Those are beautiful banyan trees that you see there on the left and the gorgeous palm trees. It's just so beautiful, except if when a hurricane blows through and it gets very sad and depressing. But luckily it all comes back really, really quickly and lush and beautiful. And I'll be turning off the camera here in just a moment to protect the privacy. However, as you will see when you watch the rest of this video, there was really nothing to be private about. This woman was so gracious with her time and talking about her experience and who she was in the professional world. I was very fortunate to be able to grab this footage for her. I hope she watches. So here we are, and look at these shoes. They are up. This looks like a shoe store. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Now, you would wear these shoes? Like, these are yes. your, it's your these personal, are my personal shoes, yes. And I would wear them because I love them, and I had a large foot, and they fit very well, and they were very comfortable. 
Absolutely so beautiful. I enjoyed them for many years. They're very well made. As you know, the Salvatore Programma label is internationally known. And so it was a pleasure to wear them. And I also traveled a great deal when I had to be on my feet a lot. And so this was a very nice way to spend on my feet without complaining. Right. What countries did you travel to? Well, internationally, of course, Switzerland was the home of the company that I did work for, which was Hanro of Switzerland. And then we traveled to every country in Europe at one time or another for business or for pleasure. My husband was in the wine and liquor business, so together we had very special trips in Europe. And then we also got to the Far East as well, to Hong Kong, to China, and they were memorable trips as well. Amazing. So what was your favorite airlines that you would travel with? I'm just curious. Well, we, American Airlines was my uh, domestic travel yeah. and I visited some of our very big customers were Neiman Marcus, Saks, uh, iMagnet in its day, Henry Bendel, and all of the top stores in the country for the company Hanra that I worked for. With the lingerie and yes, sleepwear the lingerie, company. Sleepwear. Oh and so gosh. we went to every market where there was one of those shops in order to educate. And that was a wonderful experience as well. So American Airlines was my favorite airline he here. Overseas, if I was going to Switzerland, of course, it was Swiss Air. And everywhere else that American would take us. Alitalia? Alitalia as well. Yes. Italy was a very special place for us. In fact, I have a granddaughter who's now there on her junior year abroad. Oh, nice. Uh, and she's in Florence. Oh, beautiful. And her parents are there visiting with her as we speak. And she's having a wonderful time. And I have another granddaughter who speaks Italian fluently and oh. also spent time in Florence. Oh, so Italy great. is close to my heart, no question about it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yep. Well, you know, I'm Italian. I came into the uh, into the house like gangbusters, too much coffee friends and telling them all about my heritage. These shoes are absolutely beautiful. They're absolutely, it looks like a, a department store. So we are um, definitely, so we will take, we'll take all of these for sure. And did, was there something else that you wanted to show me? The the lingerie yes, that you were talking about? Yes, we'd like to show you the yeah. lingerie if, as well. Okay, and, let's and look and see. Show, some of these really are, I would call, Very like, worn. like yes. new, maybe Beautiful. worn once. Beautiful. And some are well-worn, like like these, but, you know, they're they're fine. They're beautiful. You know, I recently was talking about... Um, I was recently talking with a friend about shoes. So my parents would buy our shoes in Italy when we would go to Italy. And then if they needed to be fixed or shined or polished or resold, we'd take them to the cobbler. And we had a little cobbler. I grew up right outside of Boston and we would take them to the cobbler and the cobbler would fix the shoes. Today's world, we live in such a disposable, yeah. you know, I, I wear, look at yeah. plastic Crocs, yeah. you know, around. Um, we don't repair shoes in today's world. These are the no types shoemakers. of shoes. No. Yeah, these are the types of shoes that you you repair. Like you would bring these to the to the cobbler, and he, he could repair that. Not mm -hmm. that they need to be repaired, honestly. I mean, they still have a oh, a lot of a lot of life on them. Yes. But yeah, they're they're absolutely beautiful. But many of these have been barely worn or not worn at all. Yep, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. <laughs> okay, we're gonna look and see what else. <laughs> A little bit about the general philosophy of Hammer. Look at this lace. Hammer of Switzerland is a company that's a couple of hundred years old. Mm. And the name Hanrow is a combination of two family names. It was the Hanchen family, the H-A-N, and the Ronan family, R-O. And Hanro, they pronounce it the Hanro of Switzerland. Mm -hmm. In the United States, we weren't quite as fancy. It was Hanro of Switzerland. But it meant the same thing. It was a natural fiber com company. And that was what was new and important to the American population. We were used to having polyester and Lycra, which were all very important products, mm -hmm. but natural fiber is what you want to wear next to your skin. And the cotton in particular is mercerized cotton. 
And that's where cotton comes in long staples and short staples. Uh -huh. And the long staple cotton is the mercerized cotton. And the mercerized, that process removes the hairy fibers, makes it feel so smooth, and keeps it fresh and nice after laundering. Beautiful. So that's what's very special about the natural fiber product. And it makes, and their product line was day wear and nightwear. This particular product is nightwear. And the other specialty is the embroideries. They have tailored looks, which are very important under suits and under sheer things. Mm -hmm. But if you want to show something nice, you have beautiful uh, uh, embroideries from Switzerland. Oh my goodness, look at that one. The work on that is absolutely yeah. beautiful. And look at the scalloping. And that's a nightgown. Yeah. That's a camisole. And that's a wonderful soup cami just... to give you the straight line look. Beautiful. So there are a variety of shapes. And, this is and Oscar the... de la Renta from Neiman Marcus. So I'm going to leave that's it beautiful, yep. on the table. And it's important for the camisoles, which was first sold, by the way, in the United States by Henry Bendel. Now that's a store that was a boutique store located on 57th Street in Manhattan. And the buyer there, her name was Sunny. She came to my father, who was the first importer of Hanro in the United States. Your father was? Yes. And he said to her, would you like to try one? And she said, you know, I'm going to a party tonight and I would love to wear one and explain to anybody who might ask about the product. Yeah. And that's what she did. And it brought a great deal of business to Bendo and of course then to Hanrum. And from then we became involved with B. Altman, oh, sure. Henry Bendo, Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus, on the West Coast, I. Magnin and Robinsons in the Midwest with Jacobsons in Florida, with all the fine stores in the United States. And not only the major stores, but the really fine lingerie boutiques across the country. Yeah. And we would love to meet with them in the showroom because they were totally involved in their business. So now, what, what year would you say this was? Like around what, what time? It was in the 80s. It was in the 80s. Yeah. So were you doing a, a big conventions like at the Javits Center in New York City to do like the big clothing shows that they did? or Internationally, was... we did the shows in Paris and in Frankfurt. And in the United States, we had our own showroom. Yeah. We had Market Week. The buyers would come to visit us. We had showrooms in Chicago and in Los Angeles as well. Right. And we had representatives across the country who would take care of the service end as well as the sales end. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So what was nice about the, the, the embroidery and the fact that you could wear them showing is you could wear it over a bra or without a bra. Mm -hmm. So here you had what was called a built up top. And then, of course, you have what was called the spaghetti strap. Right. And if you were able not to have to wear a bra, not many of us can, <laughs> you had this beautiful panel of embroidery. So some of these are, so, so, so are these like, literally like 30 years old, 40 years old? Yes. They are, and they're, they look like they're brand new yes. out of, they're absolutely, look so at how you say that they're beautiful. one thing wrong with Hadro, it never wears out. <laughs> I guess so you could you, call it new old stock. Yes, so it is new old stock. We Check had a, a basic collection, which is a satin trim. And then we had the trend collection. And the trend and collection the would be it. changed twice a year. And that would supplement whatever the outdoor fashions were, the outdoor fashions. And so if you were wearing navy blue or white and you wanted a splash of color, this came in red, it came in blue, navy, and in white. Wow. And here's the Hanro signature. Yep, absolutely beautiful. So how many years did you, uh, did you work for this company? I worked for them for 25 years. Wow. I was the president and CEO. You were the president and CEO? <laughs> yes, it was Hanro USA. Wow. 
Yes. What a pleasure. Yeah. This is an amazing, amazing. Oh my gosh, I got to get an interview and everything out of this. This is like, I am like so impressed. Holy cow. Well, of course, the nightwear was very, very important. Uh, and maybe I Mrs. Sachs. Of very special things. Maybe now, she can tell you about this. This particular one, this one was called the Swinger. And it's trimmed with satin. And it's very nice satin because it doesn't wrinkle. And the important thing of having the button front one was to help nursing mothers. Oh, of course. So that yeah. was very important because mm -hmm. when you're in that particular mm -hmm. state, a new birth and so on, yes. you need to wear something that makes you feel I nursed good. all my children, so yes. I know. <laughs> so this came in white, pink, ivory, and blue. And then the second season, it became such a popular item. What we did to update it and change it was to do contrast on the trim. So this might come in white with pale blue trim, or white with navy trim, or white with pink. I, I can tell you absolutely loved what you did. I did. <laughs> you absolutely loved what you did, and you probably would go back to it this very second if you could, right? I would. I know you would. I can tell. And what I missed about it was, first of all, being able to represent a product that I was very proud of. And passionate, and yes. And passionate about how it was done. And our connection with Switzerland was very strong. Yeah. And then, of course, I missed the people. Yeah, the interaction. The, the people were the most important important the relationships that we developed not yeah. only with my colleagues the people who worked for us yes but also with our customers and clients and became very strong friends we had a very close relationship with Neymar Marcus and they were our number one customer all right and what is this so this is pure silk knit with a beautiful Swiss embroidery, and it comes in ivory as well as champagne and black. And the importance of this is that it's warm wear. It's lightweight, feel it. See how light it it's is. It's beautiful. And you can wear it next to your skin, just as you can the camisoles. It also comes in a camisole style, but now, the object of the long sleeves is to keep you extra warm in the winter. It's a layering process. Is the uh, is the lace also all silk? Yeah, this the the lace is silk embroidery. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? How beautiful is that? It, it, it's very pretty and it's very flattering to wear under a suit. So beautiful. And even in the winter time, when you want that extra layer of warm next to your body, because it's knitted, it fits close to your body mm -hmm. and it has long sleeves and it keeps you very comfortable in the winter time. I've heard that silk is um, is something that um, people wear for uh, for thermal for thermal yes. wear. To, yes. It keeps you very well, warm. We don't usually use the word thermal because it sounds so plebeian. But however, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, I've heard <laughs> and that. And you see, it's finished very well too, mm. and it's very nice because in the back here, it keeps close to your body. It has a little bit of that silk trim, mm -hmm. and it hugs your body. Beautiful. It's a very special group. Now, it also comes in 60% wool, 40% silk. Silk one where that would be merino wool and silk. Oh, beautiful. It's merino? It's not merano? Merino. No, merino. Merino. It's merino. from Australia. Mm, very nice. Yeah, I think that's the sheet that it actually is shaved from right the actual oh can i see those with the with the old price tags on them let me see i think those <laughs> These are, are so not cool. hand row. no but they're still they're, uh there there's a whole bunch of stuff here but they're not hand, row. Left hand row i did some consulting for a few years when we moved down here mm -hmm. and so some of the co companies that i represented one was blue mm -hmm. lemon and so that's why and one hand. is bendon and if you remember that bendon from New Zealand, they had the Elle McPherson, you remember who she is, yes. she's a famous fashion model. Mm -hmm. And she was she had a line under the Benden label under her own name, under Elle McPherson. And she was a lovely lady, we went to lunch one day, and she was very special to me. Oh very generous gosh. with her time, mm -hmm. very smiley, a beautiful lady. 
Yeah. And she appreciated the product that was being made under her name. Wow, how exciting. Gosh, this, I love these stories. Is this also for breastfeeding mothers? Was yes. that another one of those? Sure, it's a button frank, and it has very beautiful embroidery in the Look sleeves. Look at how beautiful that is. And this one's And then, really of nice. course, there's a more tailored look. But the interest is in the pattern of the product that's knitted in. So beautiful. And then if you really want it to be dressy, there's this gorgeous apron of embroidery. That's amazing. So that there lace is, is so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's another look under the beautiful embroideries. Now, in, in in its day, what would a garment like this cost? Would would, would oh, like a minimum retail? of sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. Well, not not for the nightwear, but for the day wear. This piece would be sixty dollars. Simple, yeah. uh -huh. beautiful top embroidery on mm -hmm. beautiful fabric. Wow, beautiful. The gowns would the nightgowns would would retail for a hundred and twenty five and more. Wow. And that was back in the day. Yeah, that, that was back in the day. That, that was, was back 30 years line. ago. Yeah, interesting to go on the handle this, site This would now. retail for 125 Now, is this, is this company still available? Is it still open? Yes, is it still? Yeah. Yep. You can see it in Bloomingdale's here at the mall. You can? Yes. And Neiman Marcus at uh, Boca Raton. Mm hmm And there's still, still Swiss made? Yes, Hammer of Switzerland. Some of it's Swiss made, some of it's made in Portugal. You know, the world is global in terms of its uh, manufacturing, but it's only produced in countries that can produce first class merchandise. Mm -hmm. And um, these bras are amazing too. Yeah, so, th this was a line that was developed also for the Benden Company from New Zealand. And that, what, what they specialized here was that they made beautiful things for full-figured women, mm -hmm. which is very hard to find. And there are a lot of full-figured women who want to look beautiful as well. So here are some of the embroideries. And, and it's called, what is it, and Mrs. Sachs? And they're underwire fair, bras. Fair form? How do the, you pronounce it? I'm sorry? How do you pronounce it? F fair form? Fair form, yes. Uh -huh. F-A-Y-E-R-F-O-R-M. And here's another. Look at how beautiful they this are. Is, it's very delicate. Yes. And sexy. Yes. <laughs> Black is always sexy. Yes. <laughs> Brown kitty. So pretty. I taught my grandchildren that black is neutral. You can mm -hmm. wear anything with mm -hmm. black. Mm -hmm. This one is not, not the this lace is on nice. the front. This but... is like a t-shirt bra where right. you don't want embroidery, you want nothing to show under your t-shirt. Mm -hmm. It's very smooth, but beautiful fabric. Beautiful. This, I don't think this one is fair form. Yeah, some are not the fair form, but they're lovely. Um, this is not fair form, but no. I think this is really cool. This was a piece that I picked up. We were always shopping for like a course of items that we thought were of interest. And I thought this was very nice. It looks like underwear, and it looks like a corset, but it's not. It's no, there are no bones in it, and it fits really well. It's a stretch fabrication. That's beautiful. My daughter will love this. Yes. This is kind of this is what's trending right now in, in fashion. Yes. Yep. Yeah. This is a, a this is so pretty. It's from Bloomingdale's. It's a large. It's not expensive. No, but it's but really it's stylish. Pretty. Yep, yes. I love it. For a young person, I think it would be very suitable. This is a 2X, but very pretty panty. Very pretty. Yeah, it's a good idea for control pants. Mm -hmm. By very the way, pretty. and it's not a by the way, but all of these camisoles come with matching underpants. Oh, they do? And there are basics. The basic underpants, I'm wearing one now, I would show it to you, but it might be scary. <laughs> and they're sold at the fine stores everywhere, including Bloomingdale, Saks, and Neiman's, is that they're mercerized cotton, as I explained, and that one pair of underpants retails for $40.
So if you want a wardrobe of a dozen pants, just add that up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. And they also made beautiful spring bikinis, bikinis, hipsters, full briefs. And they were, of course, range in price from 40 up. Wow. Beautiful. This is very soft. I would, mm -hmm. I would think that's nice to see. What about in. that pink one? What's that one? This, I'll let Mrs. Sachs tell you, this is a different company she worked for. That's the Blue Lemon, and they had also yes. very pretty things. Oh, it's blue lemon fabric. It's also a very special cotton. And it's also a Swiss company. Oh, it's designed for a younger customer. Mm -hmm. But getting back to Hanover, and I think what I wanted to show you here was that this was a shorty pajama. So it's, it's pajamas trimmed elegantly. Oh, I love that. Candy. It is so beautiful. So this is a very nice, imagine that opening that for Mother's Day as a gift. It's very beautiful. You can't see it um, with the lighting because of the window, but this is a really beautiful pink tone. Yes. And see, how see, it, it. see how it looks on the camera? Yes, you can't see the color No, so you well. can't see the color so well. It's a very beautiful pink. Maybe if I back up a so little bit because of the lighting. You can shut the light off and see it back. I think it's back. probably that window. Yeah. Yeah. You'll know better. Yeah, a little bit it changes it. Yes. You can see how pretty it is. And the elastic never wears out. And it's covered, and it's elastic, and it's finished beautifully. It yeah, if this was anything other than this quality company, yes. the elastic would be dry rotted uh -huh. at this point. Yeah, you know, exactly. when you pull them and then the elastic right. is dry rotted. Uh -huh. And you see, it's always the details. Yeah. Is that for hanging it up? Yes. Yeah. So who so hangs soft. up their pajamas? <laughs> Can I have a raise of hands? I want you to write a, write a comment in the uh, chat right I'm now. If you guys, wearing pajamas. Yeah, who hangs up their pajamas? <laughs> but I, I guess, would describe that as a soft blush color yeah. for, you know. I guess people that buy Henro um, uh, lingerie hang up their pajamas. <laughs> the, uh, the Los Angeles store of Neiman Marcus dealt with a lot of celebrities that loved Henro. And it was very special to learn who they were through the years. I can't tell you who they were because it would not be appropriate. Right. But whenever you look at a very famous lady out there, know that she's wearing hammer. Uh, how exciting. All right. Well, okay. we're going to take what it all. What else can I tell you? We're going to take it all. Okay, so I just left. You guys, that was the most incredible buying experience I've ever had. This woman, her, 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 she was just, I'm like, I can't even, I can't even like, she was, she was so eloquent. She was so eloquent. She was so beautiful. We, I felt like such a strong connection with her. She was, she was she was just that amazing and shout out to Don shout out to Brad too because if it wasn't for Brad and it wasn't for Don um, I wouldn't I wouldn't have got to met to meet this couple today um, but her history was amazing and when I think about her um, what a powerful strong woman um, she still is I was just gonna say she was but she still is She's, I don't know how old she is, but couldn't figure it out. I didn't ask her, of course, but she's incredible. She's incredible. And this is what I love about what I do is the people that I meet and the awesome things that I find for you. And I can't wait to share all this stuff with you. I just can't wait. It was just so awesome. And I'm going back. I'm going back for more. Not right now, because I spent a lot of money, but I'm going back for more. Okay, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification, thumbs up, and we will see you live. Ciao.